Welcome to Banana Moors. I'm so excited to watch this next performer light up the Banana Moors stage. Get ready for comedy greatness. Thank you so much, Mitzi. Oh, it's such a pleasure to be here. If you guys don't know me, I'm Chanel Ali. You might recognize me from MTV's Girl Code. I was in the last season of that show, which was also the last season of that show. <laughs> so you're welcome. The pleasure is all mine. I feel comfortable with you guys. I want to just be honest and let you know that I'm a biracial person. I'm biracial, which is funny to me every time I say it because I feel pretty black. <laughs> I feel very black every day when I wake up and go outside. But growing up, I didn't know I was biracial. Had no idea I was biracial until I was in junior high. A girl ran up to me at school, very out of breath, like, Chanel, I saw you last night at Target with this old white lady, and she was buying you a bra. What is going on? <laughs> and I was like, whoa, Chelsea, that don't even sound like me, you know? I was worried about my reputation. Then I thought about it. And I was like, I was at Target last night, but I was there with my grandmother, and she is not. Oh. <laughs> so then I went home, and I walked up to my grandmother that day, bold as brass. I pointed in her face, and I said, hey, are you white? <laughs> and she said, yes. What did you think I was? And I said, I never thought about it before. I knew that I was black because of BET. <laughs> so I just assumed by association, my grandmother was probably black too. Like I know she wasn't very dark skinned and she didn't really handle beach days as well as others, but we all got our stuff. <laughs> Who was I to judge? She said, no, I'm 100% Italian, which means you are part Italian. She told me that her parents moved to this country from Italy. She pulled out a picture frame, showed me two very nice looking white people. I said, oh my gosh, my whole life. I thought that was a brand new frame. <laughs> and you just been waiting to fill it. Everything is a lie. <laughs> like, yeah, I thought my grandmother was lazy. I didn't know she was white. <laughs> now I'm 32, I'm 32. I know my ethnicity, but I'm still learning a lot about myself. It wasn't until this year that I was able to admit that I'm the jealous type. I'm one of those women, but not in the traditional sense, more so in the sense where I don't like it when my friends tell me about their other, Funny friends. <laughs> I do not want to hear about that. It could be something small said to the side. Like, yeah, I was at work the other day talking to Jenny. You know, Chanel, she's so funny. You would love her. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean by that? <laughs> what, are you, what, are you, what, what are you trying to say? You, you like Jenny's jokes? Does Jenny make you laugh? Oh, it's, it's cool. It's cool. I just, you know, I remember a time when I could make you laugh just fine. I remember one time I made you laugh so hard, you cried a little. And then you peed a little. I didn't tell nobody. I'm a good friend. Does uh, Jenny make you pee? No, I don't think she does. No, 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 no. If Jenny's so funny, just tell me where Jenny lives. Let's go to her house right now, see if she makes me laugh. Why do you keep trying to leave? I already locked the door. Come sit down and tell me about your funny friend. <laughs> you know what's sad? But that's the most honest joke I have. You guys have been kind. I am Chanel Ali. Thank you so much. Please keep it going for Mitzi. That was bananas. I want more. Thanks for coming to bananas. More. <laughs>